what's up with the squad back with another video i see in the title what's going down make sure you have to like but that subscribe button y'all see y'all see a lot a lot a lot of videos will be dropped today seeing you know what happened with um you know uh joe biden you know it definitely i, I feel like a lot of people seen this you know uh months back seeing how he was even last year you know uh, when a lot of stuff you know happened and the way he was and everything you know so we all seen it coming you know, it's just a matter of time. Make sure to like and subscribe. Let's get a video. To step aside and quote, he has no intention of endorsing Kamala Harris. That's a huge problem. Who's supposed to be next in line if the president can no longer carry his duties? It's supposed to be his vice president. And now again, we come to that same fundamental problem. We're three months away from election day, maybe four months. I don't know. Didn't do the calendar math. You get the point. We're really close to election day. And not only are Democrats talking about pulling their candidate off the ballot, but they're also talking about scrapping the vice president, essentially, and just building a brand new ticket in a way. Even if Kamala Harris stays on as vice president, it's still a brand new ticket. It doesn't make any sense. It would signal utter dysfunction and on top of all of it, it probably also wouldn't go so well with young voters and people of color, as Sonny Hostin puts it. Um, Kamala, if she is leapfrogged and there's just some open convention, no Democratic nominee can win without the black vote. Black women will not support Kamala Harris being looked over. Why? Because she is ready, overlooked. But she is ready to be the president. She's been. No, she not though. That's what a lot of people are not getting. How is she ready to be any any? How is she ready to do that when she couldn't even be a vice? Like I, I just don't. I don't get that. You know, it's a lot of people that just in denial about stuff like this. And I, I have you know a big problem with you know, um, her saying that you know in general because it's, it's annoying. First of all, because you know I, I y'all know me. Uh, I see clips of the view and the view, obviously, I don't know who sits there and why, like they don't even show the audience sometimes, but I, I will, I would like to see, you know, who's clapping behind because it, it makes no sense. You know, it makes no sense to me on how somebody can support somebody that literally like, first of all, we talked about Joe Biden, you know, we talking about Joe Biden, seeing what he went through, seeing what he's done. I have not heard anything that Kamala Harris has done at all. I have, I, I've heard of her. Of her speaking in general like i've heard i've seen videos i would say three times and the third time was today <laughs> the third time was today um she's irrelevant um even though that she's the you know the vp of the united states you know but still to me i don't see anything that she has done i don't know why sonny is saying that she's ready to be the pre be the president then she always got to bring up the coat. Like, I just, I, I get tired of it, y'all. In the Oval Office with him. She's been in the Situation Room with up. him. How dare so people still again. overlooked. But she is ready to be the president. She's been in the Oval Office with him. She's been in the Situation Room with him. How dare people suggest that she is incompetent. But isn't this so much fair? It's possible that if they, they skipped clapping. over Kamala Harris, that would be viewed as the ultimate F you to black voters across the nation. You mean to tell me that that's your genius play, Democrats? To drop your candidate right ahead of the election. Listen, my dad texted me, right, y'all? And I said, um, and I quote, texted my dad, and I said, uh, Kamala Harris, Michelle Obama, uh, or Hillary. He said Harris. And I said, Harris ain't gonna make it, Pop. You know that. You know, and I, and I, I said that. You know, I said, people love, I, I told him, people love Joe. And this, this is, I know it's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to mess with a lot of people. People love Joe more than Kamala. And it's just, you know, and I, I y'all know me. I'm, I'm not a fan of either one. But I'm just saying a lot of people love Joe more than Kamala. He says that, uh, you know, you, 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 I don't even want to say that. You know, I don't want to, I don't want to cuss um, on my channel. But one thing that he said is Joe had lost a young and the minority support. She can get that back. We also don't know who she will bring on the ticket with her that can boost her support. Regardless of who who she brings on to boost that, it's, it's not enough. It's not enough. I knew this was going to happen, and I know for sure that it's over with. 
You know, and that's that's just how she I think about it. It's snub open. the vice president, snub all the black voters who support her, and then pick some random no-name Democrat because he's a regular harmless-looking white dude? I'm sorry, but it just doesn't make sense to me. I know everybody wants to be ahead of the curve. They're going to be the one who predicted that Joe Biden was going to drop out of the race two years ahead of when it happened. As cool as that might be, I just can't rationalize it. The political calculus seems, frankly, idiotic, especially when you consider how badly Joe Biden's doing with black voters, and and by the way, it continues to get worse. There was a poll out today, a poll of African-American women uh, showing a 31-point drop in support from 2020, 2020 to 2024 in terms of plans to vote for yeah. President Biden. Because there were so many videos that got dropped and people started to recognize and see what what's the real from Joe Biden. And then for them to be like, oh, yeah, like my dad texted, like, she can bring that back. It's, it's none of that. Because regardless, she is the vice president. She's the vice president and she is supporting that. So if she's supporting that, you know what I mean? And supporting him, you know, being president and all. Oh, yeah, he, 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 he did say this. He did say that you still, you know, I just I don't get that. You know, I don't get that. I don't I don't think that she can bring that back. You know, it's reps and whoever she brings on to support her, her um, it's not. It's, it's not going to. <laughs> got to watch my words. It's not going to, you know, she, she's, she's not going, you know, and that's, I, I don't want to, you know, talk, talk in a bad way, you know, and, and get my channel in trouble, but she's not, I, I, I don't see it happening. We know the outcome is going to be, and they got to know that, you know, especially just, oh yeah, we, we going to kick Joe Biden to the curb late in this rate like come on y'all yeah snubbing your vice president who's supposedly this historic figure the first female black vice president in american history doesn't exactly seem like a good play and what's the other option going with kamala harris well also probably not a good idea considering some of the latest polls have her down by 10 points in some of the most important swing states Look at this. She's obviously not the candidate. The way I see it is the way I've seen it for a while now. Democrats had the option to replace Joe Biden. That was like eight months to a year ago. That's when they had the option. Now it's obviously too late. Even if they could do it, the question is, should they do it? And also another question that should be asked is, can they do it? Is Joe Biden going to accept stepping down? Again, doesn't exactly seem in his character. And after all the reports and speculation that supposedly he was stepping down, it seems the Biden White House is countering the claims. Biden drops a new statement hinting that he's not dropping out anytime soon. His biggest fan and favorite shill, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, is also leaping to his defense in her typical TikTok vlog style. The president is old. The president is very old. Um, Donald Trump is also very old. And y'all see, I said this before. I said this before. What did I say, y'all? I said every time somebody brings up anything that has to do when, when Biden is in the wrong with anything, you, it's like you can't say anything about Biden. Nothing can be with Biden. Nothing. They bring up Trump's name. It don't matter what happens. It don't matter what. A happens. racist and. A neo-Nazi. There is no safe option. If you are the kind of politician that wants, genuinely wants to be president of the United States, a lot of those folks don't want that. They don't want to be shooed in eight weeks before an election starts. Because let me tell you something, people think this election is in November, the convention is in four weeks, and early ballots go out, the first early ballots in this country go out four weeks after that. This election is not in November, it's in September. My community does not have the luxury of accepting loss in July of an election year. Yada, yada, yada. We can't replace Joe Biden and something about neo-Nazism. I don't know. You know what it feels like is less that Joe Biden is willing to step down and more like Democrats are trying to force him to step down. You know, there's a word for that. It feels more like a coup. And again, I will state, I don't think coups are necessarily inspiring confidence in the voter. I don't think last minute desperate coups against your presidential candidate is how you convince people that you got everything under control. But I don't know, maybe that's just me. As per usual with these things, it's hard to predict. I guess we'll just have to see. Anyways, that's one thing about it. Um, I can't wait to see who she picks. Suppose, supposedly it's, you know, he endorsing, you know, come all there, but I don't know. Uh, I guess we're going to have to see. Uh, the news just came out today, but 
we gonna see we gonna see what's going on and um everybody just stay tuned i got two more videos dropping today y'all make sure y'all stay tuned for them hit that like subscribe button let me know in the comments what y'all think about it you know catch y'all next one